I just don't know. I how do what can I do? I I gotta count atoms, but gosh, I can't even see them. How 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 can I do this? How do I count atoms? There's just too many of them. I can't even see those things. What do I do? Greetings. You saw me a minute ago, just scratching my head and trying to figure out how to count atoms. Well, there's really a way to do it a lot easier. I've been enlightened. And the technique is counting by groups. Let me show you what I mean. There are many things that we buy in groups. And some things that we buy in groups. Let me show you this clip. Hello. Hello, Miss Grunin. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What do you have there? Well, I have a dozen donuts. A dozen donuts? Yes. Ooh, those look delicious. Yes, they mm. smell delicious, too. Oh, wow. So, a dozen? Uh, what does that mean? A dozen means that there are 12 donuts. So, you bought them in a group? Yes, I did. Okay. There are a lot of other things that you can get in a group. Yes. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Another thing that we may buy in groups is pencils. And basically, these pencils come in 12s. But in this box, there are 12 boxes, 12 times 12. That's called a gross, which is equal to 144 units of whatever, in this case, pencils. Here's another thing that we can buy in groups. We can buy reams of paper. So this is a ream of paper and that is equivalent to 500 pieces of paper. And I can buy these reams in these packages that come prepackaged, just like that. But it's the same idea of the chemistry mold. But, hey guys, I'm not talking about this mold. Although he comes in handy on mold day. And I'm not talking about Cindy Crawford's mold. I'm not talking about that either. I am actually talking about the chemistry mold that has to do with this guy. Probably not as handsome as Cindy is pretty. But that's okay, because he was all smart. And he's the one that came up with the number, the mole. This number is also called Avogadro's number. His name is Amadeo Avogadro, and this number is also called Avogadro's number, right here. It is a huge, huge number. I'm going to write it out. 6, That wore me out. But yeah, that's how big that number is. It's humongous. It's a humongous number. But it comes in handy. Why? Because atoms are so tiny, tiny, tiny that this is the only way that we can count them using a very, very large unit. So when we talk about one mole of anything, we're really talking about this many of whatever we're talking about. Okay, so the two fellows that started flipping the classroom in chemistry are Mr. Bergman and Mr. Sams. And they had an analogy in one of their podcasts that I kind of stole from them. Uh, but here it is. I'm giving them credit. Mr. Sams, Mr. Bergman, no problem. All right, so they talked about grains of rice. And if you, this is a pile of rice right here, you think, hey, is there a mole of rice in here? Uh, not really. There isn't a mole of rice in here, not even close. But their analogy was that a cube of 120 miles by 120 miles, by 120 miles, can contain about one mole of rice. And rice is so tiny, tiny, tiny 
that, geez, that's, that's a lot of rice. So let's take a look at this. Let's suppose that uh, more or less from Tampa to uh, Cape Canaveral or Melbourne area, and we go all the way up here to Ocala. That's about 100, 100 miles, and we're talking about 120 miles, so just an approximation. Okay, so this cube right here, and we're going to make another cube so you can uh, get the perspective here. Okay, and this cube going up 120 miles, and that's going up to the exosphere, filled up with rice, little grains of rice, would be about one mole. That's a lot of grains of rice. All right, let's move right along. And now, before you go, I'm going to show you a video clip to see how we can apply this in the lab and how I can count atoms by weighing them. Come on over to the lab. So Mr. Z, I actually figured out how to count atoms, but without spending my entire life doing it, okay? And without straining my eyes, because I can't see atoms, really can't. So I'm gonna count by weighing. So I know, using my trusted little cheat sheet here, I, I know that copper has a mass of 63.5. In other words, the molar mass, which you're going to learn about in subsequent podcasts, has a mass of 63.5 grams. So, I know that when I weigh out 63, right, piece of copper, oops, a little over, take out the copper, oops, oh. All right, 63.5, let me take one more out. All right, so 63.5 grams of copper, this amount right here, is one mole. So in here, I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of copper. All right, let's try another one. Well, now I'm going to weigh out aluminum. And aluminum has a mass, looking at my cheat sheet here, 26.98 grams. So roughly 27 grams. So now I'm going to go ahead and add these aluminum pellets until I get to 26 or 27 grams. 26.98 or 27 grams. So I'm going to shoot for 27 grams. All right, good enough. 27 grams. Here it is. I have 27 grams here of aluminum, and I have copper. I have 63.5. <coughs> Both of these are equivalent to one mole. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of aluminum in here and 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of copper here. One mole, one mole. They feel different, but again, remember, each atom has a different mass. See you in class.